And anyway, who'd listen to some trumped up old columnist in some trashy magazine anyway? Olivia. Yes? <laughs> I think we need to talk. Why? What's the matter? Well, everything really. I don't understand. All this wedding talk. I mean, we're not even engaged. No, but we've been together for five years. I know. And we've been living together for three. <laughs> I know, but I never said I wanted to get married. Did I propose to you? No. Did you propose to me? Don't be ridiculous, Phil. I'm a girl. I, I never signed up for all this. To me, it feels like we're at that point. Phil, please don't do this. Please, not here. Look how you're carrying on. Please, don't. Rachel fucking Stone. I know that arse anywhere. You've lost some weight. Interesting. That is exactly what your old man said when I was riding him. Right before his heart attack. They don't want to lose you. They don't? No! I won't be handling any big clients anymore. Maybe that's the problem. A bit of R&R &R might be a good thing. Maybe you're right. Way to go, Tiger. So what if she's my girlfriend? You can't go around speaking to any staff members like that. And what about the way she speaks to me? I haven't heard her be anything but nice to you. Irish bastard, remove. Fuck off. Move. I fancy you, Louise. But, but not like that. I just, just don't want to make it complicated. But I completely understand how a generic person can fancy you. You see, that's why I've always liked you, Rach. The way you just branched off and did your own thing. That took some balls. <gasps> oh, it did. You'll be back in six months. Oh, dream on. Three months. <laughs> a month. 